Are you in the club? Hey guys, how are you today? So I am super excited about the new Trolls movie that is coming out. And so today I'm gonna do some artsy video all about Trolls. Here's one of my helpers, it's Zoomy. And here's another one of my helpers, Rock. <laughs> Rock, are you gonna help me? Are you gonna help me make a video today? Okay, so here is the deal. So I have this kit, which is a painting kit, and I have another one, but I'm that's also like trolls related, but I'm gonna save that one for another video. So I'm not gonna even tell you what it is. Okay, so let's open this and get started. All right, so I'll show you what we have in the kit. Pink, kind of like a greeny yellow, mostly green paint, some Carolina blue, also known as turquoise or aqua. <laughs> we have paint brushes, some sponges, some plain white paper, and then we have some like coloring sheets that we can paint. And I have another idea of something cool we can do. Ooh, I love that one. But before I paint, I wanna show you guys something. So these paint brushes are really neat. We have a poppy paint brush, a biggie, and a harper. And on one end, they are all the same. They're just like a standard paint brush. But look at the ends of them. They're all different. So these are pretty neat. I'm going to start with this picture of poppy. So I have my pink paint open and I'm going to use my poppy pen and we're just gonna get started. Poppy is really easy because she's basically all pink. <laughs> you can't really go wrong here. Okay, Poppy's face. Before I start her arms, let me show you the little sponges. So we have a star, a flower. This is a whole troll. <laughs> See, it's like the crazy hair and little feet. So we're gonna use these in a minute. There's also a cupcake and a heart. Ah, it's a heart. To do Poppy's hair, I'm going to use this crazy brush, but I want to use this one first and then I will wash it and we will be done with this little brush. I'm painting Poppy's toes. <laughs> Good you go. Okay, what do you guys think? I think we have all of the little poppy parts painted pink that we need to. So I'm gonna do her hair and we'll probably do two coats to make it darker. And I think that's it. I think we're done. There is no way that this brush can fit in this little pot. So I have poured some pink paint on a little plate here. Ooh, this is cool. It's really good for covering big spaces, but see in these little spaces, it's a little trickier. Uh-oh. 
I went outside of the lines. I actually don't think that's a big deal for the record. <laughs> I might have to switch back to my little brush. Let's see how much I can do without messing up these flowers. Well, maybe I can do it. Just have to be careful. Take my time. Oh questionable, <laughs> questionable spot right there. You know, I was just thinking, all I really have to do is paint all of this pink because, except for the headband and the flowers, because I'm going to go back over it to try to uh, put a second coat on areas where Poppy's uh, skin or hair is a darker shade of pink so I can get a little bit crazy through here without having to worry too much. That's it. Here's what we have so far, and I'm going to take a little break to let this dry, and I'll explain why. See right here on the paper? This paper is so thin, and when you paint heavy or paint too many layers before it dries, you can actually rip your paper. So we'll let this dry. We'll start something else like the flowers or the background, and then after all the pink is dry, we will come back and finish. All right, let's put some pink here. I mean, some yellow next to the pink and we're going to use our biggie paintbrush. And I'm gonna start with yellow on the flowers and if a little pink mixes in and we have orange, I'm not gonna be mad about it. So we'll just see what happens. Everything about the trolls is really colorful, so I'm not too worried about messing anything up. Plus, when you're doing art, you should just do whatever feels right to you. You don't need to follow anybody's mold and that, my friends, is why I do not get too upset about going outside of the lines. When Joey and Jack, my little boys, were in kindergarten, their teacher would get so upset with them if they colored outside of the lines, and I just thought it was crazy. She called it scribble scrabble, the dreaded scribble scrabble. And actually, she and her little girl watch, <laughs> watch DCTC, so <laughs> oops. <laughs> But I think she probably knows that I don't care about going outside of the lines. I just don't think it is that big of a deal. It's hard to totally stay in the lines and it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make such a huge difference. You know what, let's just get crazy and grab a little pink on our brush with our yellow to add some interesting orangey, melony color feel to our flowers. We'll see what happens. I like it. Actually, I really like it a lot. I don't know a lot about painting, but I know that when you add different colors, it adds a lot of dimension and depth instead of just having one color and it looking flat. I have some friends that are real artists. They paint for a living or they draw for a living. That is what they do. And they understand all of that stuff. They understand perspective and depth. And I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know the right vocabulary <laughs> to describe it. But I think it's such a gift to be able to see something and then paint it exactly the way you see it and the way it looks to others. It's 
really incredible. Here is how that turned out. And I think what I'll do for these, I'm debating, I think I'm gonna do blue, because I think it'll be a nice contrast. And then I'm gonna try to mix up the blue and the yellow to make some green for the bottom of our flowers. While we have just the plain blue and I haven't mixed anything into it, let's do Poppy's dress. Excuse me, blue paint. I need you to move over. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be tough, guys. This is gonna be tough. Actually, this part will not be tough because this is the little top strap of her blue dress. But everything else that is teeny tiny is challenging to get around because this isn't a very fine point brush. But we did it! By golly, we did it. And we'll work on the headband. finding this headband to be a little tough. So I'm taking a little break to hang out with this guy. He's taking a sun bath. That's his very favorite thing to do. Right, buddy? Someone else is sneaking onto the scene here, waking up from a little nap, trying to find a sunny spot. Going to see your best friend. Say, hey, best friend. Hey, best friend. Aw. You guys love each other? <laughs> Say, hey, best friend. Jimmy, should we get back to work? Okay, before we paint any more, we're going to make some green. So we're gonna mix the yellow and the blue together. What do you guys think about that? Pretty cool, huh? I should totally be using that for those stems. Maybe. Oh, it might be a little thick. I think I'll use that for the headband as well. That's not working. Mm hmm. I think we are done, except for our background.
You guys see what we missed right here? Poppy's ear. Poor Poppy. I'm glad I caught that. I feel like we are all done with this. So it turned out pretty cute, but I have another idea for ways that you can use coloring sheets. This is one of the other coloring sheets that came in this little set. So we're gonna start by cutting this guy out. And I don't know exactly who this is. I'll have to try to look it up and figure it out. Do you guys know? You can leave me a comment and tell me see here so we're just going to carefully cut around the edge and this project involves some additional supplies but they're not hard to get and they're not overly expensive or anything like that so I'll show you in just a second after we get this all cut out Okay, so I have a canvas here, just a regular white canvas, and our first little troll cut out, and then I just have some white acrylic paint. So, got these supplies at Michael's, and I'm just going to, whoops, <laughs> my paint's a little dry, I guess. So I'm going to pour some of the acrylic paint on the canvas, oh gross, see all that dried paint that just fell? There we go. And put a layer of paint all over the canvas. And I do this just to prep the canvas. So even though I'm painting white on white, it'll give it a little bit of texture and it just in the end will make it look more finished. And while the paint is still wet, we're going to take our cutout and lay it on the canvas and smooth it out. You'll want to use your fingers to smooth any wrinkles or air bubbles out of your cutout. And then we're just gonna let it dry for a while. A few hours have passed and our canvas is dry and our little character is, you know, stuck on the canvas, so we're ready. And let me show you what I'm gonna do next. I'm pretty sure that our troll here is Guy Diamond. So let's see if we can recreate him. I'm going to use a green Sharpie for his nose. Do you guys hear Rock and Zoomy barking in the background? <laughs> they are playing. Now, I see that his body is a darker gray and then his hair is like a light gray. So I'm gonna use this gray Sharpie for his body. And for his hair, I'm gonna use some light gray acrylic paint.
is definitely darker than I want it to be, so I'm going to add some white. Whoa! Now that was a lot of white. <laughs> Probably have to add more gray now. Let's see, I might be able to mix it a little bit. Just adding a little more gray. All right, so here's our finished product and as you can see, I need to go back over the black outline in a few areas and just kind of clean that up. Right here at the top of his head and then I'll turn this upside down, you can see at the top of his hair. So after I do that, I'm going to try to fix his eyes a little bit. I kind of, I sort of <laughs> messed them up a little bit. I tried to add some white paint um, and it made it run a little bit. So I'm going to let the hair dry. I'm gonna use my black Sharpie to clean this up and then I'm going to paint a sealer over it. Okay, as a last step for this little guy, I am going to add some gloss and just brush this over the surface and it will dry clear. And this will just kind of finish it, gives it a little bit of texture, and seals it. And so here's my next idea. What I would like to do is cut out another troll. I'm gonna move, move this so it can dry. And I think what I'll do is select another one and cut it out and we'll add it to the canvas and then we'll decorate that in another video. So then we can really work on getting our canvas looking super cool and very colorful by adding more to it. Sound good? So one last look at our little poppy and then I am just not sure which one of these I want to use for our next video because there are so many cute ones. This is really funny. <laughs> and this one's really cute too. So anyway, um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this and I have a really interesting technique that I'm gonna show you using tissue paper in our next Trolls video. So I hope you liked it and I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye guys, thanks for watching.